<laughs> this generation as such shot its wad in the 60s. Uh, we went through too much hope and too much despair in too short a time to come out of it intact as a generation. We started out fragmented uh, as members of what the sociologists used to call the lonely crowd. We had a moment of incredible unity in which we transcended every expectation. And in that moment, I think we did a lot of good. Civil rights, for example, made enormous progress during the, the 60s. In fact, we're still living today on the progress of, of the 60s in civil rights. The women's movement uh, catapulted itself out of the belly of the 60s. The first women's caucuses in SDS were in 1967. And we're, we're still living on the energy of that today. But by the time the 60s were over, certainly by the time of the end of the Vietnam War, people had been knocked back into their individual lives stripped of that feeling of a generational destiny that had given us such power for those few years in which we felt it in our bellies. I don't think we'll ever get that back again. I don't know if there's another generation of Americans that will. The experience was too complex, too many-sided, but I think that the generation that made the 60s what we remember ought to feel very proud of what it did. We didn't stop the war in Vietnam, but we created the conditions in which it could not be fought. And that was good, because it would not have been good for this country to establish a garrison in Vietnam. We would be bleeding to this day if we had, quote, won the war in Vietnam. It would not be over, it would never end, and there was no strategic or other reason for us to be there. And the generation of the 60s intuited this, stood up for its belief, fought very valiantly against incredibly illegal acts of repression, and in the end made its points, but then got smashed to smithereens. And maybe that's how, be, how it had to be. If 